sharing her own experience, entrepreneur and chairman of First Bank Nigeria PLC, Ibukun Awushika, charges the core members to seek clarity in their purpose and pursue their dreams with focus. The first job I could find one week after was in a furniture company. I took the job to keep myself busy, to save me asking my parents for money. I lasted three and a half months there. But in the three and a half months, I discovered that the creative side of me came alive in that furniture company. I love transforming space. I love the interaction with the customers. I love the whole experience. Before going to work there, I had never, ever, ever in my life thought about furniture manufacturing as me getting involved in the business or service in any way. No such plans. But I wanted to keep myself busy, found myself in a business that brought out talents that I had, that I had a sense that I had, but I hadn't tested. And in that moment, I also realized that in that company, I didn't like their value system, the way they do things, matters of integrity and stuff like that. I loved the business, but I didn't like the value system. And I felt that based on my upbringing and the way I thought about things, I felt that I could do the same business with a different set of values. And as a young person, I had seen the inside of the company and realized that every customer came to make an order for furniture and put down a deposit. And I thought to myself, if someone orders furniture and gives me 70% deposit, what is that? That's capital. I'd also realized that when I employ the carpenters, the sprayers, and the guys who work, they have to work for me for one month before I pay the first salary, true or false. So I had their services for free in advance. I would pay later. One more thing. I found out that all the big expensive machineries that were in the factory of the people that I worked with, some of the useful ones that were needed also existed in markets where woods and products were manufacturing furniture, where they were sold. And there were those markets like Amu markets where you would pay for the service per time and per quanti quantity of what you wanted to do. So there was my factory. Now, why am I saying this? Because I need you to think differently. I need you not to get caught in a box. Don't get caught in the box of, oh, I know what I want to do. I have all these great ideas. But you know, I don't have a rich father. I don't. I come from a middle class family. My father gave us the best gift, education. Your parents have given you too. It was to open our mind to think differently. Because sometimes people say to me, oh, you come from a privilege. I say, no. I come from a middle class professional family. My father sent us to school. His life commitment was to educate his children. That was his biggest investment. If you know the Nigerian middle class family, averagely they have a house that the family lives in. Two, they send all their children to school and they basically can take care of their food on the table, no matter how simple. My father was a professional who took care of his family. But education was our biggest inheritance. What I had is what you have. What is left is how you think outside of the box and you use what you already have right now to make a way for yourself and to change the country that is yours. I only have a green passport. I assume most of you, that's all you have as well. So I'm not about to do the Andrew thing and run to anywhere. There are 180 million plus Nigerians. Which country can we run to? We will overrun any region if we have a crisis. You know, all this Syria and all these things that you see, you can see the level of confusion in the world. Imagine a Nigeria in crisis. We will cause so much problem in the world, nobody will know what to do with us. 
So what that tells you is you have a real reason to think differently. Your education is to open your mind. Your certificate is nothing. It's the education you have received and how you apply yourself. Leave your certificate at the gate of your university or give it to your parents who paid for your education. Now it's about what you do with what you have. Your education, your mind, the way you process information, the way you look at situation around you and decide to turn it around for good, the way you use the factors that you see to create value, and the possibilities are unimaginable, even as you can't see it now. It was hard for me to see the future, but I knew what I did not want. And every time I got to what I didn't want, I moved. Once I served at Akitala Williams, I knew that accounting was not going to be my life. So even though I didn't know what was next, I made the move. When I started working in this company, and I discovered what I love, but I didn't love the way they did things, I made my move and decided to try and change it myself. So I was still a science student conducting an experiment. I took what I thought was possible and decided to try it out. And I reasoned through what I had seen. The deposit of the customer would be my capital. The workshops or the processing places, the machine places, would be my factory. If I employed my first set of staff, which I did, I didn't have to pay till the end of the first month. So I had labor for a month without pay. And what I didn't have was pride. Any job was good. I was not looking to set up a big factory. As some of you think, I can't do this because I don't have 50 million naira. I don't have 10 million naira. If you have it, you waste it. Why? You have not tested your theory. Your business idea is filled with assumptions. Every business idea is an assumption. The process of executing it is your experiment. What you conclude through the experiment is your conclusion. And it can be positive or negative. Because you prove the theory. The acting MD CEO, Bank of Industry, Wahid Olagunju, tells the young entrepreneurs that being part of the scheme presents a rare opportunity to succeed and that becoming successful was the best way they could show gratitude. 